Uh, welcome back, everyone. You know, we know Arizona may not be in the path of the full solar eclipse, but that does not mean you can still enjoy this celestial show. The farther north you go, the better it gets. So joining us this morning is actually a very familiar face with Good Morning Arizona, <laughs> Roseanne Kalosha with Travel with Preferred Travel Services. Thanks for being here this morning. I'm so glad to be here. Thank you very much. It's just so great to see you. You had a little break being in the travel industry, we so did. great to have you back now. Thank you. And who better to tell us where to go right here in Arizona? Because a lot of people do want to see this. It hasn't happened in a hundred years, in almost right. hundred years. Right. I mean, it's so interesting, too, because, yes, we're not going to be in the path of 100%. And, frankly, all of those hotels have been sold out for a long, a long, long time. Long time. Uh, I had some folks talking to me about, I can't even get a rental car. I can't get anything. So, wow. Yeah, well, you're in the path of the 100%. But even if you, if you just want to stay here in Arizona, if you go up to the very far northernmost parts of the state, you're going to see 81%, 78%. It's going to be really, really cool. And that's going to be amazing. So let's yes. start off with some of, go over some of the cities that will be the best places to maybe catch this next Monday, a week from today. Sure. What I think is really interesting is it is on a Monday. Make a long weekend of it. Yes. I mean, sure, it's a long drive from here, from the valley up to the northernmost parts of the state. But let's say you go stay the weekend in Flagstaff or Page Perfect, or right? Cayenta or uh, Winslow, Holbrook, any Thing like that uh, and, and the three best places that I in my personal opinion I think are going to be a great place to see the the uh, eclipse is going to be Monument Valley that's 81% oh, coverage okay and can you imagine I mean it's beautiful any day of the year but when you've got 81% coverage of the Sun just the light on the those monuments is going to be just incredible oh yeah uh, Lake Powell is going to be really beautiful um, again if you have a boat you know plan on being out on the water uh, in some of those canyons. That's, That's going to be, be amazing, amazing. If, if you're out on the water. I can but, see you know, that. Even if you're just in the parking lots at the <laughs> marina, if you don't have a boat at your at your fingertips. Uh, and then also, of course, the Grand Canyon. And you can go into the Grand Canyon early, um, stake out a good location, you know, put put up your little campsite, put up your chairs, and, and just watch the, the beauty of the canyon uh, shaded by you know, eight, actually 78% coverage there at the Grand Canyon. Okay, It's just okay. going to be amazing. So here are the top five spots that uh, among those that Roseanne is talking about. So we talked right. about that it is on a Monday. A lot of people may be saying, oh, this, we can plan this. Let's do a right. long weekend. Are there still hotel rooms? I mean, with the places here in Arizona, do you think? There are. As for those five jumping off points that we have on screen right now, yes, definitely. Uh, as, as of yesterday, when I was checking, okay. you still have... And, and good prices too. Okay. You know, moderate hotels and some really nice resorts. Uh, Cayenta, which is very, very close to Monument Valley, they still have rooms available at the at the Tribal Hotel up there. Um, and and of course, Page uh, Flagstaff is going to have your most opportunity because it's the biggest town, and they they have the most hotels. And and even there, you're just a few hours drive from any of the three places that, sure. I, that I'm recommending. So it's, yeah, it's just a terrific place to see it. And you know, hotel rates were ranging from, you know, 58 bucks a night up oh, to a couple of hundred, that's depending on the quality sure. of the of the property that you're going to stay in. So. And, and prime time starts at about, is anywhere we're hearing from like 9.30 right. and up. Um, so the, you could still drive there early in the morning exactly. and make it a cool trip. Exactly. Go up there Monday morning early, mm -hmm. set up your little chairs outside your car, pull off to the side of the road, especially Monument Valley. You can park on the side of the highway or you can pay $20 and get your car and if up to four people in your car. Go into the tribal park. Ooh. The Navajo Nation has, it, has their, the Navajo Nation park. And it's, there's a loop road all around the monuments. It's just, it's stunning. And that, that's where I personally would be. I'd, it's worth the 20 bucks to drive into the park and, how far and see a, the How eclipse. far of a drive is, is that from here to go to Cayenta? Monum well, Monument Cayenta from about. here is about seven hours just because oh, you're going drive. on okay. right. windy road. So stay in Flagstaff, stay in Winslow, stay in Plan. Holbrook. Yeah. And then it's just a few hours from there. Get up bright and early Monday morning. Uh, the eclipse starts in uh, Monument Valley at 1015, but they are on daylight savings time. So that's oh, really 9.15. Okay, good to uh, keep About 9.15 for Grand Canyon for Lake Powell. Okay, I love it, I love it. And of course, we want to remind you guys, you saw some of the video, you've got to have the solar eclipse glasses. Even if you're looking through, say, an amazing telescope like this, you need those glasses to protect your eyes. So we're going to have complete coverage of the amazing event next Monday, special coverage right after Good Morning Arizona. We're going to just keep on going until noon, so be sure you tune in then. Thank you, Roseanne. Thank you, Tess.